hello everybody i am back with another video about concept draw uh, today we will take a look about in detail analysis on concept draw how it's work and what are the applications they are providing so we already downloaded the application concept draw store in concept draw store there are different solutions for different problems like for example in general i will tell you like they are they have different illustrations for different problems for different purposes like aerospace manufacturing computer for industrial designs they had different icons available infographics management map marketing project management quality management science and education software development sports and different statistical charts available so today we will discuss only focus on the medical aspect and we will see that how uh, how it is useful for medical purposes and for making different uh, graphical abstracts or making presentations more better and better so if we go to the medical side and medical applications and they are providing different solutions like if you go for the health they are different provided for the health informatics they are different facilities they are providing different designs they are providing and different sample as well they are make, make, giving to you so that if you want to modify them you can modify it into on in your own picture if you want to make like they have different icons for health informatics biomedicines if you see there are different samples also available genograms for genetics for different element for genes carrier for human anatomy they also have their different icons available for medical illustrations they have available different medical symptoms for pharmacy pharmacy different type of pharmacy pharmaceutical icons available and health sciences there are different icons available in health sciences so suppose we open this sample so we just open basic medical science uh, a diagram when click on that it automatically connect with the concept draw diagram so when you open this you, it out automatically connect into the software so like they had different basics icons available for cell biology for embryo for genetic for histology so there these different icons can be modified according to what if uh, we want to design whatever you may want to design if we go to the other options we have other op opportunities or facilities provided like for example if we click on biomedicine and click on general design element that is available and click on the icon after that they will give you a picture here we can see there are different icons available for different solutions for example if you want to make a flow diagram for uh, epidemiological studies for genetic studies uh, you want to actually want to present a flow diagram how how a cycle work how a living organism work so we can we can make this diagram using this software if we click on the pharmacy pharmaceutical tools they are also providing different pharmaceutical illustrations as well like for example if we click on any general uh, diagram like different dosage forms and uh, they are different logos available for different different uh, perspective perspective like pharmacy scales poisons uh, red crescent red cross there are different signs are available that can be used uh, to make the diagram so again if we go to the other medical illustrations we click on different samples like what are the tools they are providing like for example if you want to make a relationship between a doctor and patient and to make a flow diagram you click uh, into medical illustration you select these the different icons and you make can make different charts and diagrams uh, for for that you can add inside your thesis or inside your results or report uh, so this is this tool is very helpful so if for example someone is asking me that uh, you want to study in depth about the medical students that that are focused on only on in-depth analysis and they want to study in detail about the structure of human anatomy or human physiology or pathology so is this tool is helpful 
uh, this tool is helpful for those people that uh, that want to work on multidisciplinary that uh, that have uh, especially on the social science perspective and uh, but for pure medical sciences uh, this is partially effective but not fully effective for fully effectiveness for in-depth study of physiology and for detailed analysis there is another website which is very famous uh, biorender.com so here yeah, you can sign up free but you have to be uh, subscribed there are different prices available for different perspective so i'm just choosing for educational use just free sign up i'm using it so here if we click go to that and for example if you click on that there are different icons available like it's also they also have different uh, drawing tools available that are given by conceptra but uh, these tools can be they have some in-depth uh, tools like different type of cells that is available epithelial cells so they are giving some pictures of that you can use these pictures like immune cells different type of immune cells they are giving for mitosis and meiosis they are different given so it means they are giving in-depth uh, pictures about each cell each part of the living organism like different neural cells they are given they are giving them the big icons like reproductive cells it's different icons has been provided and you can request an icon as well if it is not available in the current list so for pure medical perspective it is beneficial like if you got a different antibodies, antibiotics, they are different available. If we see on concept draw uh, about the antibodies or the, the uh, they have available. So when we click on the elements that are available and click on the icon, uh, we can see that they, ha they also have been provided different icons like genes for biomedicine, for for medical genomics so the most of the icons that have been given by conceptra are generalized they are not specified that which cell has been using which type of cells which type of antibodies or antigens and they are journal so this this software is good for the for social health science students that are working on social health informatics social health sciences public health and that are more working on quantitative or qualitative studies that they want to make different uh, structure models, structure equation models, or they want to design computer-based algorithm. For that perspective, uh, this software is very helpful. But if you want to go in-depth analysis, like for example, and somebody is working on the mechanism of action of any drug on particular organ or, or particular site of uh, cells, like they have uh, in BioRender, they have for epithelial cells, for enzymes then you use BioRender this BioRender is still free for educational perspective you just signed up so they have you have a less storage limit just five for that so uh, for research purposes you can use for educational purposes you can use it but if you need to use for uh, longer perspective you need more pictures you can want to store more pictures and publish in journals then you can use uh, in, in this one this one is a little bit expensive $35 per month to use so uh, both softwares have different applications it depends on what a uh, what type of work you want to do so uh, thank you so much for my video and keep subscribe my channel thank you